Well, I'm here to call bullshit on you PC ass talkers again. Everybody always says, aww, the, the, the 4850 is all the new iMac gets. The 4850 is all the new iMac gets. And the Mac Pro, the 4870, aww, oh, you all have outdated graphics card, yesterday's graphics cards. So, I want to prove to you all that you all don't know what the hell you're talking about. And even if you did, there's not too many of you out there that have a graphics card better than a 4850. So let's first pull up some benchmarks from um, our 4850 Radeon GPU from Passmark. Anybody can go look at these. These are G3D marks, okay? High-end video cards, updated the 6th of November, which is today. Radeon 4850, 1,331. 1,331. Okay, now let's look at the uh, 9800 GT. 947? What? Are you kidding me? The 4850 is that much better than the 9800 GT? I mean, we can always look at the Radeon 4870 instead of the 4850. And it goes even higher, 1,726. As you can see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. There's only eight cards that scored better than it. The Radeon 5870, the Radeon 5850, the GeForce GTX 285 and 280, the Radeon 4890 and the GTX 275. Those are the ones that scored higher than the Radeon HD 4870. And the ones that scored higher than their HD 4850 as far as high-end video cards go? Look, not many. Uh, the 4850 times 2, the 5750, the 4870 times 2, the Fire Pro V8700, the Radeon 5770, the Quadro FX 5800, the Radeon um, HD 4870 times 2. Now, some of these are got two graphics cards, you know. So, basically, what I'm saying is, and then all the way up here, we have the 5870 on top, of course, on everything. 2500, it's like the top dog now. And the Radeon 5850 is second dog, you know. And the top GeForce card here is the GTX 285 at 2,000 points, 2,026. And the Radeon 4850 is higher and got a higher score than all of these other cards here. The Radeon 4830, the Radeon 4770, the 4670, the GeForce 8800 Ultra, the GeForce 9800 GTX, GeForce 9800 GTX, um, or GTS 250, the Radeon HD 4850, um, Mobility as the Mobility version, because uh, the uh, I'm hearing that the I'm um, uh, 4850s in the IMAX are desktop, and even if they're the mobility version, look what they score still 1,200. I mean, these are this these are the only graphics cards faster than the mobility version. Look, the ATI Radeon 4850 is all a fucking IMAX needs. There's not a game on the planet that's going to need more than that. I pretty much guarantee the 4850 and 4870 will max out any game you need it to just about on 1920 by you know, 1200 or whatever, probably on a 27 inch display. I guarantee the 4850 will handle just about whatever you throw at it or Apple wouldn't have put it in a 27 inch display. They wouldn't put something in there that would underperform. I've never had an iMac underperform yet. <clears throat> I mean, I got a, uh, I got an iMac in there and it plays just about any game I throw at it, but granted it's just 20 inches. It's not gonna run high res at 30 inches at 2560 by 1600 or nothing like that. But I seriously doubt many of you fucking PC gamers out there have a display that big anyway. You know? I doubt any of you PC gamers out there have a card much better than the Radeon 4850. And anybody who says the Radeon 4850 ain't enough, you know, you just got fucking on. Because look here. 
Radeon HD 4850, 1331. Okay, the, these right here are the only cards that scored better than it. Okay, um, it scores better than the GeForce 8800, the GeForce 9800, the Mobility 4870 times two. Uh, um, just go to these web page here, this Passmark software, and look at benchmarks, video card benchmarks. And you go through and look for yourself. And you tell me the 4850 and the iMac ain't enough. Oh, it's just you all been pawned. You all been owned. You know what? You PC guys have been owned. Because I guarantee fucking to you, there's not nearly a fucking tenth of you out there that have one of these cards above the 4850. The 4870 some of you may have. The 5870 and 5850 some of you may have. But I doubt many of you had the GTX 285 or 280, maybe a slither of you. Um, I don't think any of you have the Fire Pro or the 5770, because that's the Radeon HD 5770, because that's kind of a weird number that I, you know you don't hear of a lot. Um, 4850 times 2, I doubt any of you have that, and I doubt any of you have a Quadro. So what cards on here that are faster than the 4850 are what PC users likely to have? Radeon 5870, Radeon 5850. I doubt you all have the GeForce GTX 285. Some of you might, but I doubt it. They're like a $400 card or more. Some of you may have the 4890. So, the bottom line here, out of these cards, <clears throat> you all just don't have them. You're all complaining about stuff you don't even have if you own a PC. You all are fucking hypocrites. You all have been owned. Look at these scores. The 4850 and the 4870 hang in there. I mean, that's just it. They're, they're, they thumped the hell out of the 9800. <laughs> I mean, I just don't know how to iterate this enough. The 4850 that comes in the iMac is a high-end video card, people. And it will do 25 or 2550 by 1600, I think, it will push it. I'm not saying it will push that res, that res on high settings, but I guarantee you it will push 1920 by 1200 on completely high settings. I mean, I've got a video posted about an iMac doing it. So you all are just talking out your ass. Or whoever don't think the 4850 is enough, they are just they just don't understand or they're just talking out their ass. This, as you can see, this the scores right here prove it. The 4850 is not slower than, than that many cards, just a few. And here they are. And if you want to look at them, go look at them. But the 4850 puts it all over <clears throat> any video card that's in these bargain bin PCs. There's not many of you out there that play games that, that pay less than $1,000 for your computer. A few of you, maybe. If you're paying less than $1,000 for your computer, you're getting a bargain bin computer. And when you price computers $1,000 or higher, Apple is very, very competitive. Even if you build your fucking own, they're very competitive. The only machines Apple can't come close to in price are the bargain bin fucking pieces of shit PCs. You buy a PC that's $1,000 or more and I can show you a Mac equivalent that's cheaper or not that much higher and higher powered. So y'all go ahead and check out the Radeon HD 4850 that comes in the new iMac and tell me, oh, it's just not enough. I gotta have a new card. The 4850 ain't up to date. It's old. It's ancient. It's old. What the fuck are you all talking about? You all don't have a fucking clue. And here's the fucking scores to prove it. I'll put the link in the goddamn description. OS 10, brother. Owned.